Hi, my name is Catherine. I live in Virginia, but North Carolina is home. I'm a lifelong Republican. I voted for the first time in college for Bush 41 and in every subsequent election cycle, the Republican ticket until 2016. I voted a conservative third party, knowing full well that the candidate had no chance uh, whatsoever to win. For what it's worth, I am also a board-certified emergency physician practicing for more than 20 years. I am an Air Force veteran and the military spouse of a retired United States Marine. Uh, many others on this site have discussed the multiple troubling issues with uh, the current president, and I, I don't believe I can improve on those. But I haven't heard a lot about the pro-life issue. And, and boy, I, I get it. I get it why somebody might feel deeply conflicted um, based upon that issue. So that's what I want to talk about. To me, core of the pro-life ethic is respect for human life and a fundamental belief that all human life has intrinsic value. Jesus exhorts us to be wise. In Matthew 10, 16, he says, Behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be as wise as serpents and as innocent as doves. And I think what he was trying to say was, I don't need fools to follow me. And I'm tired of being played for a fool. Roe v. Wade has been the law of this land for more than 45 years, and it is simply not going to be overturned. The recent Louisiana case was decided five to four, but if you look at the dissents, three of the four affirmed both Roe and Planned Parenthood versus Casey as good law. The only question on the Louisiana case was whether it violated the precedence of those two rulings. But hey, let's go there. Let's go there. Roe v. Wade is overturned and the issue reverts to the states. Still, no woman in this country is going to be more than a day's drive from somewhere that abortion is legal. And Planned Parenthood can buy buses. I'm no longer going to have my vote held hostage to an empty promise of something that will not happen, and even if it did, would not substantively affect the abortion rate. This president has shown his colors when it comes to life issues. He didn't care about the lives of troops slaughtered for bounties. He didn't care about the lives of children ripped from parents' arms and placed in cages. That is not respect for human life. And if this is your touchstone issue, get angry. Get angry that your conscience has been used to help prop up that which is unconscionable. Additionally, if you trust this lying liar who lies to actually nominate justices that you would like to see on the bench once freed from the constraints of needing to be reelected, I would just argue that is not as wise as a serpent. Uh, and you had to know that an emergency physician wasn't going to make a video and not talk about the staggering death toll of COVID-19, um, which as of today, uh, we're going to go over 165,000 Americans dead. I, I don't know how you're pro-life and look at the administration and in particular Donald Trump's response to this pandemic and his callous disregard for the lives of Americans, in particular those over the age of 65 who compromise 75% of the deaths. This does not conform to a pro-life ethic. And his response is, it is what it is. If there was ever an issue, a challenge, a crisis that any decent leader should be able to effortlessly rally the entire country to, to defeat, I, I can't think of anything more ideal than a deadly microbe that is targeting people, parents, and grandparents. As it is, we're the laughing stock of the globe. He has politicized something as simple 
and effective as wearing a mask. He has divided friends, families, churches. He has divided the entire country to the point we cannot come together and fight as one people against a deadly microbe that is killing grandparents and parents. And I said I was going to stick to the pro-life issue and not talk about things like national security, but I cannot imagine that our enemies have not noticed how divided we are. So my vote is going to be for Joe Biden. He'll support mothers and children. He'll work to get the COVID pandemic under control, and he'll work to unite the country so collectively we can do both of those things. 